Imagine, if you will, a blessing intended for you stolen right from under your nose. The story we delve into today from the book of Genesis in the Holy Bible unfolds a tale of deception, blessings and consequences in the lives of Isaac and his sons, Jacob and Esau. In the twilight of his life, with his eyesight failing, Isaac, son of Abraham, felt the call of mortality. He summoned his eldest son, Esau, a hunter, a man of the wild. He craved the taste of his favorite game, prepared by Esau's expert hands, a last meal before he bestowed his blessing upon him. As fate would have it, Rebecca, Isaac's wife, overheard this private conversation. A plan hatched in her mind, favoring her younger son Jacob. She instructed Jacob to masquerade as Esau to deceive his father and secure the coveted blessing. With his mother's guidance, Jacob masterfully played his part, fooling his father by mimicking Esau's voice and even the feel of his hairy hands. Isaac, his senses dulled by age, was none the wiser. He blessed Jacob, believing him to be Esau. Upon discovering this deceit, Esau returned from his hunt, eager to receive his father's blessing. Imagine his shock when he learned that his brother Jacob had stolen his blessing under the guise of a clever ruse. Esau wept bitterly and pleaded with Isaac for a blessing of his own. Isaac, however, had only one blessing to give, and it had already been bestowed. He prophesied, nonetheless, a future of hardships for Esau, and reaffirmed the blessings for Jacob. A rift grew between the brothers, with Esau plotting revenge against Jacob for this grave betrayal. Rebekah, ever vigilant, caught wind of Esau's vengeful plans. She sent Jacob away to her brother Laban, ensuring his safety from Esau's wrath. She also expressed her displeasure to Isaac about Esau's Hittite wives, further straining the family dynamics. In summary, this biblical tale from Genesis 27 paints a vivid picture of family dynamics, deception, and the profound impact of blessings. It's a story of a mother's favoritism, a son's cunning, a father's failing senses, and another son's loss. It explores the weight of blessings, the lengths one might go to secure them, and the consequences of such actions. It serves as a timeless reminder that every action has consequences, and even the most well-intended plans can lead to unforeseen outcomes.